Hi, this is Kevin Hua. I've got a hundred of these to make, and I'm wondering, can you jig it? You may come across this situation in your welding career where you have hundreds of parts to make, and you want to make sure they're all going to come out the same and accurate. This is where building a jig will help you out quite a lot. So here we have our part. 2x2 two two square tubing, a 90 degree bend, with a piece of 1 inch OD pipe. Now we've got squareness to keep in mind on both of these parts, and we also have dimensions to keep in mind when we build our jig. We've also got a hole here to locate while we build our jig, which is going to be critical. So what I've got here is a couple chunks of flat bar, a couple chunks of square bar, a bolt, and a piece of flat bar with a hole in it. All these I'm going to use for my jig. I've also got a heavy chunk of plate, which you want to keep everything nice and flat. So what I like to do is build my part first and check for accuracy. Then I'll build my jig around that part. Right in here, we've got a half inch gap. So I'm gonna use the half inch square bar to shim that up. Here, I'm gonna use my flat bar tabs to lock things into place and make sure that 90 stays 90. As always, wear your PPE. Something to keep in mind when you're building your jig is how the part is going to come out of the jig. It's also important to consider where you're going to be tacking it. You don't want to have one of your tabs in the way. Once you've got your jig built, it's important to make sure that it works and that it's easy to use. So I'm trying to pull out this bolt here which lined up my hole and I can tell it's really tight. So I'm going to have to rework this a little bit. So the jig works and the part's easy to take out. And I had an issue with this hole. What I'm going to do is pull off this tab and relocate. Now that we've got our jig built and we know that it works, let's double check for accuracy. Everything looks good. Something to keep in mind is your tacking sequence when you're working in a jig. If you place your tack on the inside of this 90 first, it'll actually shrink and lock itself in the jig. So you want to make sure you're tacking on the outside to let it open up. Remember, when you have a lot of parts to make, making a jig will help you out greatly. I hope this trick's helped you out in keeping you efficient and proficient.